What's happening, Cigars Daily Nation? Today, I'm not even at the shop. It's my day off. So I came way up here in northern Arizona to relax and get out of the city and enjoy the country. And it's this time of year that all of us get to experience, well, I should say most of us get to experience the cold. Like, I hear so much in the Cigars Daily Nation Facebook group and all over the internet about how it gets so frigidly cold in so many parts of the country that you can't even go outside and smoke or your fingers will freeze off of your hands. And it's a reasonable concern, I suppose. But what if there was a way around this? What if there was a way to create your own outdoor cigar lounge that's heated and cleans the air and vents it and everything and it costs less than $200 to make wouldn't that be amazing and certainly if there's anybody on the planet that's incentivized to teach you how to do this it would be a guy just like me so that's exactly what I want to dive into today This is by no means my own idea. It's something that I've seen people doing online for years. I just wanted to see if I could do it for myself. So I'm going to take you guys through building an outdoor cigar lounge. I'm going to show you everything that I got and exactly how I'm going to put the thing together so that hopefully by the time it rolls around to this evening and the temperature starts to dip, I've got a nice warm place to sit down and enjoy a premium cigar where my fingers won't get too cold or I won't have to wear seven layers. Like if I do this thing right, I should be able to pretty much sit inside of it in my boxers and still enjoy a cigar. But let me show you sort of what my plan is here. Now, I imagine most of us are smoking on like a patio or a balcony on the back of your apartment or the back of your house. Maybe you even have one of these fancy fire top tables that like gives you the 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 idea really and that's all it is it's the idea that there's warmth around you because these tabletop things don't actually put out a tremendous amount of heat that's one of the big problems is putting out enough heat without building a big fire and so when you think about building your own cigar smoking space you kind of want to I don't know. I think I'm starting to think about it, especially after seeing them online, the same way that I think about my humidors. My humidor is a smaller space, like a desktop humidor. It's a smaller space where you have more control over what goes on inside to get a better result for your cigars. Building an outdoor cigar lounge for yourself is the same idea, but instead of building like a cigar habitat, you're trying to build a comfortable habitat for yourself to enjoy those cigars. So here's how I'm going to do it, and here's how we're going to do it on the cheap. So everything I got here is basically enough to set up the actual structure and then heat it and vent the air. Those are the things that I pretty much prepared for. Anything above and beyond that I did not factor into this experiment, but I'll take you through everything that I got. The first thing is this Ozark Trail tent. Now this was $79. It's a six person dome tent. And I picked this one up because it was six feet tall inside, which means I can fully stand up in it. I guess for me to feel like my outdoor mobile cigar lounge that I put up on my patio, to feel like that's like luxurious, I gotta be able to stand up all the way. But they had four foot ones that would like arguably be easier to control your your temperature and everything inside. But this thing right here, 79 bucks, wasn't too bad. The next thing I got was a nice heater. Uh, This Better Homes and Gardens heater has a little fake fire thing in it. I think that will up the luxurious value of my exterior uh, lounge here. But this thing was $55. So that puts us between the actual tent and this at about 135 bucks. Then I got myself a 50 foot extension cable so I can power this monstrosity and a floor fan. This is how I intend to vent my smoke. When you go into a cigar lounge, there's two ways to deal with smoke, which again, you do not want to be breathing. So you can either scrub the air with like a smoke eater, or you can literally push the smoky air outside. That's what I intend to do just because we're doing this on the cheaps. I'm basically going to leave a small part of the door open and try to blow uh, the smoke out with this fan. And then the other thing you'll need, and don't forget about this, otherwise you'll be kicking yourself when you try to sit down, is like a power strip. I just got a three-prong power strip, which will allow me to plug in my fan, my smoke eater, and then like a laptop or a phone charger or whatever I want to do if I'm going to you know, fart around on technology while I'm in there. But that's my basic plan. 
We're going to put up some shelter. We're going to heat the thing. And then we're going to put in some air filtration. And I should have a pretty, like, comfortable place. I did not include, like, chairs and, like, blankets or any of that other stuff in here. I figure you probably already have that stuff at home. Like, if you don't have chairs, you shouldn't be buying cigars. Like, in the first place, let alone building a cigar lounge in your backyard. So I'm assuming that you have, like, some chairs or maybe a little table and stuff like that. But I'll show you what I'm going to use. But I'd better just get right to it because I can't wait to be sitting and smoking in the warmth. Altogether, this thing cost me about $194. I came in right under my $200 goal. And the setup was quick too. It only took me about 75 minutes to get the thing going. And that includes putting the tent together wrong because it didn't come with any instructions. But altogether, I was really happy with the basic setup that I got. With a very little planning, the result was actually more than I expected. Well, here it is. Welcome to my outdoor temporary sub $200 MTV crib style cigar lounge tour. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed with how well this actually worked. I want to, so I want to give you my, my honest thoughts on this. I was a little anxious going into this because I wasn't sure exactly how I, I was worried I wouldn't be able to vent the smoke enough or that I wouldn't be able to heat the thing enough. And really, as I put this thing together, if you're considering doing this for yourself, that seems to be one of the considerations. Like the tent that I bought was the like one of the cheapest tents that I could get and still fully stand up in. I can't put the camera above my head, but I can fully stand up in it. And at the same time, this tent has a tarp over the top with a bunch of mesh netting all the way around it. So I found that it's pretty impossible to hot box this thing with smoke. So for air ventilation, this thing's been great. The downside is the better ventilated your space is, the harder it will be to heat. Now, I actually, as I sit here, find that this thing is actually really warm inside. Outside is just under 50 degrees. There's dark clouds over. It was even sprinkling a little bit earlier. And I was actually, I found myself really grateful that I have this like little tent to sit in. I mean, I got a balcony about 20 feet away with a roof over it. But at the same time, this protects me against wind, against rain and against the cold. Only if, even with the big vented areas that just have this tarp over it that are around me, I still find myself warm enough inside of this thing to take off my beanie, take off my coat and put up my laptop. So let me just take you through real quick what I did for the heat and for the ventilation. The heat's pretty simple. I use this little space heater that's over my left shoulder here uh, because it looks like a fire and Allison and I are crazy about these fire looking heaters. We've got like bunches of them because we think that they're classy. They're not, but we think and feel like they are. But then the other big thing was the actual ventilation of the smoke. Now, I didn't really think about the fact that this thing is well ventilated all on its very own. And so I actually set up some ventilation as I sat down. And what I did is this tent seems to have a little extra entrance, maybe a pet entrance or a place to keep your shoes. I'm not entirely sure, but it's a small zipper off to the side of the door where I propped up a fan on the inside. The goal was to vent air and not actually try to scrub the air, which you can scrub the air if you're using like a rabbit air or a Renfo or something like that. But in a pop-up solution like this, I don't know why you wouldn't just vent the air unless you're really, really trying to contain heat inside of your lounge. But then when I sat down, I found that I, not only could I not hot box this bad boy, I was perfectly warm while I was in it. Like I was sure that either I would have way too much smoke going on in here or it just wouldn't be warm enough. Somehow with this really cheap tent, like the cheapest of everything I could buy, it seems to have worked out really, really well. And of course, if you guys really want the insider uh, track on how this is done, people in the Cigars Daily Nation have been doing this for years. I've seen some of these in the group. People are building these in their backyards and they are absolutely amazing. Lounges that leave me totally envious. But if you're like me and you're like, man, I would like to kind of have that, but I'm not gonna like blast a thousand dollars on a like ridiculous tent and smoke eaters and all kinds of stuff like that. You just want something you can put up over the weekend or put up through the, you know, even through the winter season, this solution seems to be like a great 
workable solution like it seems to be a great way i've got enough space in here where i could probably have two or three people smoking and based on the way that this is ventilated and heated i think that i'd be able to have a couple friends over enjoy some cigars and relax in the backyard even when it's very cold outside without having to worry about too much smoke and without having to put on a ton of extra layers all right guys i want to thank you so much for hanging out with me here i've got a little bit of smoking to do i'm probably going to watch some cigars daily live in here and catch up on some episodes with uh with that as we review to make sure that the show gets better and better. But do drop a comment down below. What is your solution for winter smoking, especially if it's really, really cold where you live? And if you've built one of these outdoor things before, what do you recommend? Is there a specific tent, a specific smoke eater, a specific uh, like space heater that you would say, this is what I got and it really worked for me, or this is what I got and you should definitely avoid it. I'm going to go sit and enjoy myself out here in the cold of Northern Arizona and know that when I get up tomorrow, if it's 20 degrees outside, I can still come out here and enjoy a cigar. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments. You know, I remember when I first started smoking cigars, it's just as vivid as it was yesterday. My mom would always say, Tim, are you smoking cigars? You know, that's not good for you. It's almost like I can still hear her voice saying it. I love you, mom. Love you too, Tim. <laughs>